Libra, what's going on, Libra, 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 get your ass in here, Libra, <laughs> what is going on, baby, Libra, I love you, I love you, Libra, let's get some messages for you, Libra, we're going to get some positive affirmations in this joint, we're going to start off your message with some positive affirmations, Libra, what's up, baby, happy Tuesday, I hope you guys are doing well, Feeling good. Sending lots of love your way, Libra. Let's get some positive affirmations for you. Libra. Welcome back, Libra. Welcome to the channel. What's up, Libra? Welcome back, those of you that's returning. And welcome to Future Tarot. If you're new and you're tapping in with us for the first time, these messages are for the zodiac sign of Libra. Positive affirmations for Libra. Okay, Libra. Two more for Libra, Holy Spirit. One more for Libra. Can I have one more for Libra, please? And thank you, Father God. One more for Libra. Okay, Libra, you always pull the lover. Every time. The lover keep coming out for you, Libra. All right, but let's see what these two say. We got the mystic. And emotions. Now, yo, Libra, you be pulling the same cards all the time, Libra. All the time. Let's see if we could get something different. Any affirmations for Libra? You pulled that one the other day, too. <clears throat> Acceptance. Okay, let's take that one. All right, Libra. So, we got a few of them. We got the shaman, the red rose, the mystic, emotions, and acceptance. Okay, the shaman, the red rose, the mystic, emotions, and acceptance. So let's see. Some of you could be 30 years old. Um, some of you could be 38. Somebody here could be 42. Um, somebody here could be born October 6th, October 16th, um, October 11th, October 1st. October 18th, October 9th, September 30th, okay? Some of you could be a Life Path 3, a Life Path 8, a Life Path 9, a Life Path 1, um, or a Life Path 6. Some of you could be seeing angel number 666, 1111, 999, or 333, all right? Some of you could be seeing those numbers. But we got the Shaman, 30. Let's see what that's talking about, Libra. It says, lunatic insights, cosmos, strangeness. Your affirmation says, I choose to listen and dance to the secret songs of the universe. All right, Libra, that's your affirmation. I choose to listen and dance to the secret songs of the universe. And your manifestation enhancer says, pay attention to which secret songs of the universe come to you at this time. And when you hear them, don't forget to dance. You can try staying up a bit later than you usually do. Lighting a candle and seeing what comes through. Spending time in spiritual solitude will greatly enhance this time for you. Guided meditations that specifically open your third eye will be beneficial. Okay, Libra. Then your next card, we got 18. It says the red rose. The red rose, Libra. It says overcoming obstacles, finding joy, Buddha energy, carefree. It says don't worry, darling, you'll find your way. Yo, this is so crazy, Libra. If you've been following up with the readings, I kept channeling that movie, Don't Worry, Darling. I kept hearing, don't worry, darling. Don't worry, darling. And I and I said something significant about the movie, Don't Worry, Darling. And then one of you even commented like, oh, I just watched that movie yesterday. Libra, I've been channeling, don't worry, darling. This card literally says, don't worry, darling. Oh my God, I am freaking the fuck out. But 18, some of you could be seeing angel number 888. Some of you could be seeing 818808. Some of y'all seeing a lot of eights. Somebody here could have also been born in 88, okay? And like I said, some of you could be born October 8th or October 18th. Um, but the red rose, okay? It says overcoming obstacles, find and joy, Buddha energy, carefree. Some of you may love roses. Some of you could even have like rose tattoos, okay? Damn, yo, I really resonate with this shit. But your affirmation says, I freely flow and find my path. I nurture my joy. Okay, Libra, that's your affirmation. I freely flow and find my path. I nurture my joy. I freely flow and find my path. I nurture my joy. And your manifestation enhancer says, 
Try to ease your doubt and worry. As hard as it may be, seek to find joy and playfulness in doubtful situations, especially when you're in a state of feeling stuck. Laugh whenever you can, watch comedies, and surround yourself with lighthearted people. This energy will help you get through or figure out whatever it is that you need to. All right. Then we got the mystic, number one. Let's see what that's talking about. It says, there is a reason you have those dreams. The mystic, intuition, high priestess, visionary, self-belief. Your affirmation says, I trust that I am a powerful visionary. Okay? You got that? I trust that I am a powerful visionary. I trust that I am a powerful visionary, the mystic. Intuition, high priestess, visionary, self-belief. Libra, a lot of you are shamans or high priest, high priestesses. Um, you guys are visionaries, okay? You are powerful visionaries, okay? You are very intuitive. You have a lot of belief in self, strong faith. It's like you're um, a manifester. Like, you know how to manifest. Um, your manifestation enhancer says, start writing things down, okay, Libra? If you don't already do that, start doing that. Get into the habit of that, all right? Start writing things down, especially if you get random downloads from spirit, practice taking them more seriously a consistent spiritual practice such as meditating journaling connecting with nature or engaging in silence is going to be extremely helpful at this time be open to receive and believe all right and it says there's a reason you have those dreams some of y'all could be having very prophetic dreams okay i know for me i have dreams about everything like i know who be doing what when they be doing it how they be doing it where they be doing it at like my dreams be so vivid like spirit be telling on people okay some of y'all could be having very vivid and prophetic dreams like that okay um the next one we have is emotions 38 emotions okay let's see what that's talking about 38 emotions I'm hearing that song by Destiny Child. It's just emotions taking me over. I'm caught up in sorrow. I'm still a song. But if you don't come back, come home to me, darling. Okay, I'm hearing emotions by um Destiny Child. All right, but emotions, okay? It says honoring the flow of all the emotions fluidity alchemy processing and sensitivity your affirmation says my emotions are honored processed and healing okay you got that libra my emotions are honored processed and healing period and your manifestation enhancer says through the power of spell casting or writing find out what action will best serve you in the alchemization of your emotions light a candle grab a journal and ask spirit for guidance this could simply be a release crying screaming into a pillow opening up to a loved one it could be doing something physical exercise dance yoga or something expressive writing creating singing whatever art modality you use also this is a process not a one-time thing so it could be a regular activity you may benefit from Finally, your emotions should be addressed on an individual level. Different emotions may need different actions. All right. And then you also got 42. Okay. It says you can surrender. Let go now to what is. Okay. You can let go now. Surrender to what is. All right. I love that. All right. Let it go. Let it be. Just go with the flow, Libra. Don't be um, overly critical of yourself or others. And don't try to force shit, okay, Libra? Just accept all, accept what is, accept what isn't, right? Set boundaries, but also be very accepting of what is and what isn't. And accept people for who they truly are and deal with them accordingly. You could either deal with them or not deal with them, but just accept people, allow people to be who they are. Don't try to change no damn body, all right? But it says acceptance, <clears throat> letting go, water, acceptance, non-resistance. Your affirmation for this card, I love this card. This card is nice. It says, I trust the good that is meant for me will find me. Okay, Libra, that's your affirmation. I trust the good that is meant for me will find me. All right, boo. <clears throat> In your manifestation enhancer says, reflect on or journal about what you could possibly be resistant and fighting the universe for. See if you can determine what your fears are and how you can soothe them to become faith instead. Practice a self-guided meditation in which you let go, and in doing so, you are led to exactly where you are meant to be and exactly what is meant to happen. Yes, Libra. Love these affirmations for you, Sugar Plum. All right, let's get some angels and uh oh, let's get some angels and auras oracle for you guys too. Let's see. 
Spirit, what messages do you have for the zodiac sign of Libra from the angels and auras? Zach, what's going on with my Libras? What's in the energy for Libra right now? Angels and auras, oracle. Libra, you will also have new readings posted on Patreon and OnlyFans today. Okay, so those of you that are members of Patreon and OnlyFans, make sure you check out your readings, Libra. I'm posting two more readings on them. Okay. And if you aren't a member, you aren't a subscriber yet, what you waiting for? The link is in the description. All right. Link is also in the community tab. I keep y'all updated with all the readings I do on there. All right, Libra. Let's see. Two more shuffles for my Libras. Sun, moon, Venus, rising north, no Libra. Father God, Holy Spirit, give me some more messages for my Libras. Sun, moon, Venus, rising north, no Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. All right, Libra, let's see. Okay, ooh, okay. We got Sandafil, um, turquoise energy, number nine. Again, with those nines, Libra, okay. We got a lot of nines here. Some of y'all definitely seeing angel number nine, nine, nine. But it says forgiveness, seeking freedom, and healing. Okay, forgiveness, seeking freedom, and healing, Libra. Okay, so you got angel Sandafil here. Libra, you got Angel Sandafel here to assist you. Turquoise energy. Libra, you pulled this card the other day. Law of Attraction. So I feel like y'all got this shit down to a science. A lot of y'all are really big on um, self-affirmations, you know, positive affirmations. And that's good, Libra. Or there's a call for you to need to get into that, okay? But it says, my angels are with me. Life loves me. I am prosperous. I am beautiful. Everything is going to work out. Very positive affirmations here, Libra. And it says, action, thought, feeling, diligence, okay? Action, thought, feeling, and diligence. Law of Attraction 26, okay? Some of you could be born September 26. You may be on the cusp of Virgo Scorpio. I was also getting September 30th for some of you. Um, some of you could also be born October 9th. I think I said that earlier because we keep getting nine, okay? Something significant about nine. It could have been a cycle that has completely come to an end. Something that could be ending Libra for you guys. Okay, we also have Archangel Uriel assisting you. Ten. Okay, so you got Archangel Sandafel and you got Archangel Uriel here in your energy. It says passion, epiphany, entrepreneur, and driven. Some of you could be entrepreneurs. You have an entrepreneur spirit. You could be feeling very driven right now, okay? Very creative. You definitely tapped in, Libra. I feel like you are definitely putting time, energy into your um, passions, okay? Whatever it is that you're passionate about. Some of you may have your own businesses or there's a call for you too. Some of you have some sort of dreams of working for yourself. Now's the perfect time to tap in, okay? I'm hearing that your creative spark is here, Libra. It's the perfect time for you to tap in to your gifts, tap into your calling, do the things that you want to do. You have this entrepreneur-driven, passionate energy, passionate spirit about yourself. I feel like if you invest in yourself and you um, invest in your dreams, Libra, and you invest in whatever business you want to have for yourself, it's like it's going to take off. It's really going to take off. Archangel Uriel is here to assist you. Something significant about gold as well. Some of you may love to wear like gold accessories, gold jewelry. Some of you may also love to wear the color gold or metallic, okay? Some of you may like to wear metallics or a lot of gold accessories or the color yellow, okay? Some of you, something significant about the color yellow as well. Something significant about the color turquoise, okay, too, with, um, with uh, what's the name? With Archangel Sandafel, okay? Let's get one more message for you, Libra. That's too many. It's like 10 flipping out at once. I need one more. Okay, yeah, we got 18 again. So a lot of nines and a lot of eights. So I'm telling you, some of y'all seeing 999, 919, 818, 818. Y'all seeing a lot of those numbers. But it says communication, 18, all right? It says accuracy, expression, intimacy, and honesty. Libra, all your cards came out in the upright. I love that for you. And we got evolution at the bottom of the deck. You put evolution the other day when I pulled this deck for you. That says empowerment, transformations, protected, and preparedness. Libra, like I told you the other day when we pulled this card, the weight wasn't um, punishment. It was preparation. You being prepared, Libra, you are heavily protected. You are going through huge transformations. You are connected with your higher self. You are working out of your higher power. You are somebody that's evolving, okay? And you're feeling very empowered during this time. I love that for you, Libra. Love that for you, sugar. Love that for you, sugar. Let's read Sandafell. Let's see what Sandafell is talking about, number nine. 
Okay, Sansa fell number nine. Number nine, Sansa fell. Archangel Sandafell Turquoise. It says the meaning of Sandafell's name is fuzzier than most of the archangels. Some say it means brother together. In reference to his relationship to Archangel Metatron, who has a similar backstory. Many think of Sandafell as the Archangel of Music, and that's true. However, we prefer to focus on what we consider to be his high purpose as the conveyor of prayers. He is known to carry our prayers to heaven and to deliver answers back to us. In fact, he is said to be so tall that his feet are on earth and his head is in heaven. When we need compassion for others, prayer can deliver. It can push away our egos and wash away the human urge to hold a grudge, allowing us to be in a place of charity, grace, and forgiveness towards others fully. Turquoise is the color of kindness and forgiveness. It's also known as one of the colors of ascension because of its high vibration. Turquoise energy allows us to rise above any situation, no matter how challenging or painful, to see it from the most divine perspective. Tur allow turquoise to help you see the wisdom of the situation and ultimately set you free remember that forgiveness is a journey and not a destination all right libra so that's archangel sandifel okay he's here to assist you then we got law of attraction 26 it says action thought feeling and diligence libra i'm hearing that you doing your due diligence libra and you are attracting beautiful things into your life, Libra. It says you've been taking action and staying in a positive place. Good for you. We want to make sure that you're aware that you're co-creating with the universe right now. And that's why things are moving in a positive direction. Keeping your thoughts empowered and focused is important. But taking action is just as important to manifesting what you desire through the law of attraction. What is the next big action you're going to take to continue your joyful momentum? The color activation for this card is gold and green. The color gold can help turn any vision into reality and green light strengthens how you express your heart's desire to the universe. When we are clear in our vision, the universe is clear in our vision. Love that, Libra. You pulled that same card the other day, okay? Uriel. Let's see what's going on with Archangel Uriel. Gold, all right? It says, Archangel Uriel's name means the light or fire of God and is traditionally presented with a scroll in one hand and a flame in the other. This is because Uriel is known for providing brilliant epiphanies to those who ask for his assistance. He offers those amazing ideas to those who are truly pursuing the light path that they are passionate about. Gold is the color of independence and thought. A golden aura is typically seen around a self-employed person or someone in a, ma a management position. Golden energy is helpful with goal setting and checking things off your to-do list. When gold is present in the aura, this person is so passionate about their vision that it's not a question about how but when. Gold energy can stimulate new ideas and bring forth new insights. Okay, love that. And then we got communication, 18. Let's see what that's talking about. A lot of eights, Libra. A lot of eights, 18s, 81, 88. A lot of eights. Eight, eight, eight. Okay, some of y'all could be coming into some sort of abundance soon as well. That's nice, Libra. And I mean, uh, abundance can mean, you know, multitude of things and blessings and opportunities. A lot of things that are good coming in. Just the flow of things that are good, right? But Libra, I'm getting prosperity, okay? Some of y'all coming into some fortunes as well, okay? It's like the energy that you're putting out is being mirrored back to you. And y'all been putting out a lot of good energy. Some of y'all Libras out there been putting out a lot of good energy. And that 888 is symbolic of things returning to you, okay? Things coming back to you. It also speaks of financial prosperity. But it says 18, communication. All right, it says communication is the key to success in all things. When we express our most authentic self, it enriches business relationships, self-worth, and even our physical health. Honest expression is the beginning of creativity. Your angels are high-fiving you for your open-hearted articulation of your dreams, goals, and true self. The color activation for this card is green and blue. The color green is highlighting all forms of communication right now. Blue energy will give you the wisdom to recognize when a person or situation isn't in alignment with your highest good. All right? So, Libra, keep the line of communication open, too, with your guides, okay? A lot of y'all have the ability to communicate with your spirit guides. I also feel like, Libra, you know that that door is always open. You know that that line of communication is always open. Ask and you shall receive, okay? Pay attention to the signs, synchronicities around you. Pay attention to your dreams for some of you, okay? You're getting the answers. You're getting the clarity that you've been seeking. Like, I know for me, when I need some information, all I do is ask my spirit team, and they reveal it to me in multiple ways. And then, 
also people just end up telling on themselves too like if you're a very intuitive person and you're an observer people literally be telling on themselves like for me for instance i have neighbors that love to fuck with me like i live around people that love to fuck with me okay it's like all these people do is tell on themselves they tell on themselves every single day it's like all i have to do is sit back be quiet and observe I got so much fucking dirt on these people. All they do is do shit every single day to, to irritate me. And what's so crazy is some of these people have whole families. They have children. They have businesses. They have jobs. It's like y'all are jeopardizing. Y'all going? Y'all really want to jeopardize y'all own shit by fucking with me? Okay, because that's exactly what's happening. In the long run, they only jeopardizing themselves and everything that they work so hard for to obtain in their own personal life. They jeopardizing that shit by fucking with me. It's like literally all I got to do is sit back, be quiet, observe, and watch. Like God be revealing everything to me that I need. Got all my receipts for everything. Got all the information that I need on everybody. It's like people just really reveal themselves to you. So Libra, a lot of y'all may be going through similar situations where you may be seeking clarity or answers about certain things. If you just sit back, observe, people telling themselves all the time. And then on top of that, they get so frustrated that they telling themselves even more. You know, when people get pissed off, they really start to reveal themselves because they start to act out. They start to act like an ass. These people have been showing their fucking ass over here and they have just really been revealing their true self. I'm just like, wow, like y'all really pressed, okay? Like y'all really pressed, y'all really stressed over here. So Libra, some of y'all, you know, just observe, okay? People will tell them themselves, just sit back, observe, okay? Just listen, observe, just sit back, I'm telling you. Motherfuckers be exposing themselves. All right, Libra, let's get into some messages for you, sugar. Let's pull from the tarot. Let's see what's in the energy. <laughs> Father God, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful and handsome Libras at this time? What is it that they need to know? This is for Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and North Node, Libra. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, Libra. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my Libras? Father God, what message do you have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, Libra. What is it that they need to know at this time? Libra, please take only what resonates with you. Leave the rest for somebody else out there. I know y'all already know that, but need to say it. Maybe some people may not know that. Okay, just because you're a Libra or have a Libra highly aspect in your chart doesn't mean everything you hear in this message is for you. Please take only what's for you. Leave the rest. Understand that the roles are interchangeable. Flip and bounce the roles as you see fit. And also keep in mind that we all have masculine and feminine energies. Apply the genders as you see fit as well. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no Libra. Spare, let me get three more shuffles for my beautiful and handsome Libras out there. We got some Virgo energy revealing itself. Maybe some of you are connecting with a Virgo. Somebody here got a strong Virgo in a chart. You with them. All right, Libra. But let's see what's going on here. Okay, what's going on in the energy for my Libras? Holy Spirit, what message do you have for Libra? A King of Wands in the reverse. A King of Wands in the reverse and a Queen of Cups in the reverse is mad. Okay, you got a King of Wands in the reverse in your energy. And you also have a Queen of Wands in the reverse... Queen of, a queen of cups in the reverse in y'all energy somebody here tight somebody here could be a pisces a cancer a leo or they could have that in their chart this is multiple people here working together upset okay not they upset child what they mad about okay there's multiple people here in your energy working together upset i'm getting leo pisces and cancer okay could be a scorpio too there's a water sign feminine and there's a fire sign masculine this could be a couple for some of y'all okay or this is just a masculine and feminine energy that's working together these people gossiping they unhappy right now okay they've been they've been talking amongst each other and they unhappy you know this king of wands in the reverse and this queen of cups in the reverse they pissed they unhappy right now child okay yes okay they unhappy child ace of swords in reverse ace of wands in the reverse okay these people all in their head right now they all in their feelings libra and they getting karma Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This is why they all up in their head, they in their feelings, because they have come to the realization that the will is not turning in their favor. Somebody here is getting hella karma, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, somebody here getting some sort of karma here, Libra. King of Wands reverse, Queen of Cups reverse. These motherfuckers is getting karma, and they watching you. They watching you right now, Libra. These people got their eyes on you. This masculine and feminine energy, King of Wands reverse, Queen of Cups reverse. Oh, they watching. They watching you, Libra. They see that a cycle has closed out with the world card. 
path, okay? It's something here has ended. I told you with all those nines, didn't I say that earlier? We got nothing but nines showing up. Something here has come to an end, okay, Libra? Some of y'all seeing nine, 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 ten, ten. But I'm telling you, something here has come to an end. Damn, these cards shooting out, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, we got the Page of Wands here and the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, somebody here watching you. They feel like a cycle has closed out. They feel like they did something too impulsive now. Working together with multiple people here. This person feel like they definitely did something impulsive, okay? Three, three, three. But somebody here... With the Three of Cups in the reverse and the Three of Pentacles reverse and the Fool reverse, somebody here feel like they did something too quick, they did something too impulsive, and now they trying to prevent a tower from happening in their life. Somebody here could be wanting to make you some sort of offer here with the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Somebody here could be wanting to make you some offer, some sort of bring you some sort of opportunity or something like that, or you're receiving an offer or opportunity here. Yeah, with the Six of Cups, somebody here wants to heal something with you, Libra. For some of you, somebody here wants to heal something from you from the past. There's a past person that could be wanting to come around and heal something with this star energy, okay? Somebody here may be missing you. Somebody here is also from the past seeing you as a healer. Somebody views you as a healer. Somebody wants to heal something with you. Somebody wants to come over, okay? Can I come over? Can I come over? Stop by to see you okay somebody here said can they come over to stop by to see you libra i'm hearing come over by Aaliyah. now somebody want to come over child okay somebody here want to come over for some of y'all they say can i come over can i stop by to see you okay can i come over again come over stop by to see you <laughs> okay like that's what i'm hearing libra y'all know i'm silly but with the Six of Cups here, the Star and the Ten of Cups, somebody here really want to heal something with you or they want to come over, okay? Somebody here really thinking about you, Libra. They like, come on, like, let me see you, Libra. Let me see you, man. I want to be with you. Yeah, this, this is somebody that's about to hit y'all up if they haven't already, okay? So somebody here is in the energy watching y'all wanting to talk. And I feel like this King of Wands in reverse, this Queen of Cups in reverse is behind the scenes mad, just watching and spying on you, spying on your life. Yeah, this person could be trying to separate from somebody. Yes, they don't love somebody. They're saying they don't love them. I'd rather be with you. Somebody said they'd rather be with you, Libra. Whoever this person is, they are leaving somebody here, child. They could be leaving somebody, man. Somebody here could be a water sign, okay, or a fire sign, or maybe somebody got strong water or fire in their chart, but we got a king of cups in the reverse here. Somebody here is definitely leaving somebody. They could be divorcing somebody, breaking up with somebody, okay, but somebody here is like, I don't love that person, okay, I'm trying to detach from them. I've, a, I've already emotionally detached. I've already mentally detached, and now I'm just physically detaching, okay? Look at this. I cannot make it up. Knight of Cups fell out on the floor, Libra. That's what just fell out on the floor, Knight of Cups in the upright this is somebody wanting to take some sort of action and express some sort of feelings to you okay libra but i feel like whoever this is y'all don't trust this person with the king of cups in the reverse you also feel like this person be manipulative you feel like this person be manipulating shit some of y'all feel like this person's emotionally manipulative. They draining. And with the King of Wands in the reverse, you could be feeling like this person is a player. Or maybe they just have a lot of drama. They got like a lot of, like, even if this person got like children, you may feel like there's like baby mama drama attached to this person. Like some confirmation. Some of y'all feel like this person definitely got some baby mama drama. But then it's like, you feel like this person just emotionally manipulative. Like some of y'all just feel like this person be trying to guilt you into connecting with them or being with them. It's definitely a Leo for some of y'all some of y'all definitely fucking with a leo this person could be a leo a pisces a cancer scorpio okay could be a sagittarius as well for some of y'all but whoever this person is it's just like no you come with too much fucking drama and your baby mama and your baby mamas okay because for some of them they got more than one it's like you just not fucking with this okay you feel like this person always got third parties they always got somebody on the side they always hiding somebody they're never telling the truth it's always somebody else in the picture okay this person be acting like they single but they always got somebody that's in love with them or somebody fighting over them or somebody stressed over them i'm hearing that this is the type of man that be having multiple women fight over them and i feel like this person got the nerve to be still connected to a queen of cups in the reverse they got some sort of soul tie that they haven't severed with a queen of cups in the reverse and it's like them and this person is steady watching you libra it's weird it's like could you imagine being with a dude and you and this dude watching another woman like what y'all looking at like what's the problem here libra they trying to have a menage a trois like what's going on here like 
But anyways, this person wants to separate from this Queen of Cups in a reverse, and it's like they want to express something to you. Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. It's like this person want to come towards you. They want to say something to you. They want to express something to you, Libra. Okay, yeah, that's what it's looking like. All right, this person is hoping that the situation is not over between you two. Whoever this is, they feel like you don't care about them. They feel like you've already healed. This person feel like they hurt your feelings in the past, and they feel like you definitely not hurt over them no more. If you was hurt before, they feel like you have completely healed from that shit. This person is also showing up as the Emperor in Reverse, so hell no. King of Wands Reverse, King of Cups Reverse, and the Emperor in Reverse? Oh, hell no, Libra. I know y'all don't want no Emperor in Reverse. Shit, y'all definitely don't want the King of Wands, the King of Cups in the Reverse, but the Emperor in the Reverse too? Y'all don't want this motherfucker? This is somebody here that is like very like my way or the highway, very stubborn, okay? This is somebody that will have third parties as well. With the, that's what I see. This is somebody that will have third parties and it's just like, oh, y'all gonna have to deal with it. Like, y'all gonna have to deal with it. Y'all wanna fuck with me? Y'all gonna have to deal with it. And it's fine if that's the energy that you in, but Libra, I feel like you somebody that opt out you was like i'm not gonna deal with it and they mad because i want you you know if i want you then you're gonna deal with it and it's like mm, no that's not how it works i'm gonna tell you whether or not i'm gonna deal with it and i just told you i'm not gonna deal with it so i'm out and they like nah you ain't going nowhere you gonna deal with me because i want to deal with you and you just gonna accept the fact that i got other hoes <laughs> like this is really this person attitude who the fuck is this in y'all reading libra okay but this person is showing up as a Leo. They definitely, a, yo, I'm telling you, Libra, some of y'all, this man is a Leo, okay? And I love me a Leo. I do. I love Leos. I do. I love me a Leo. But this got to be like a low vibrational one or, you know, this motherfucker just don't give a fuck. Like, I don't know what's going on with this person. But I'm telling you, some of you is a Leo. Some of y'all, it could be a Saggy, an Aries. It could be a fire sign or a water sign. This person is definitely a fire sign or a water sign. I got heavy Scorpio, heavy Leo. Maybe somebody got strong Scorpio or Leo and they chopped for some of y'all. But I'm telling you, whoever this is, whoever this is for y'all, this person like, listen, you going to take it or leave it. And Libra, with you showing up as the damn empress, look at that. You see how y'all be coming out together. Even if y'all both not in the upright, y'all come out together. This person showing up as the emperor reverse, Libra, you showing up as the empress in the upright. Y'all not a vibrational match, child. You and this person is not a vibrational match, okay, at all. I love how they came out first inverted and your ass came right behind them in the upright. And then we also have the nine of cups in the reverse. This person emotionally codependent on y'all. This is why this person said, it ain't over till I say it's over. Libra, you ain't gonna walk away from me. I'm not done, okay? This person said, they not done with you. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't walking away from them. It's not over till they said it's over. And you could be telling this person, no, I want a divorce or I want to break up or I don't want to be with you until you you get a divorce or until you break up with so-and-so until you cut all your holes off and this person is like yeah okay like this person could even be telling you like yeah i did cut them off or yeah i am going to get a divorce but they dragging their fucking feet like this is somebody that's going to do shit on their own time and then they going to still want to have multiple people here like it's like even if they do cut off whoever you may be aware of this person still going to have other people later on down the line because that's just this, this this is just who they is child this is who they are this is how they is. This is how they come in. They is who they is, okay? And didn't we have that card of acceptance? Except, didn't I tell y'all what I said, Libra? Accept people for who they are and deal with them accordingly. Accept people to show up as their true selves. Accept them to be who they're going to be and deal with them accordingly. You can either deal with them or you can set boundaries or you can cut their ass off. You're going to deal with them accordingly, but you're going to accept them for who they are. You're not going to try to change nobody. That message ties into this. Same shit, Libra. Like, I feel like you see this person for who they are and you just like, no, you put your foot down, Libra. Baby, you done put your fucking foot down and this shit got this person feeling some type of way. I feel like none of the women that this person deal with ever really stood up to them or put their foot down the way you have. Okay, it's something here about this Emperor Reverse not liking the fact that you setting boundaries or you standing up for yourself or you walking away or you know your worth and you acting accordingly, you putting yourself first, right? It's like, what? Like, who this new Libra, okay? Like, maybe Libra, you wasn't always in that energy. Maybe this person used to get away with shit, okay? And it's like, you're not letting this person get away with shit no more. You're not letting nothing slide no more. You're not letting nothing slide no more. You're not fucking 
you know, sweeping shit under the rug no more. You airing that bitch out. You letting this motherfucker know. I know what you did last night. I know what you was doing. I know what you said. I know what you said you was going to do and you didn't. Motherfucker, you, your word ain't bond. You know what I'm saying? You be doing, you be saying a lot of shit and you don't be doing nothing, okay? Like, I feel like this person be making, like, empty promises, bro broken promises, all types of shit. And I feel like you finally calling their asses out on all the shit that they be doing or the lack thereof. You sticking up for yourself, Libra. You showing up as the Queen of Swords, the Empress and the Queen of Swords. And I feel like this person do not like it, okay? They don't like this new version of you. That's what I'm hearing. For some of you, this person feels like there's some sort of new version of you. They don't like this. They don't like this new version of you, Libra, okay? When the fuck did you get so confident and so outspoken? Like, you gonna let me do what I want to do. And it's like... You can do what you want to do, baby, but you ain't going to be with me while you're doing whatever you want to do. You could go do whatever you want to do over there. You're not gonna, you're not about to be doing whatever you want to do over here, okay? And this person is like, damn, okay? They restless about this shit. For some of y'all, you got new love coming in, Libra. Some of y'all could have already met somebody or you about to meet somebody, child. This person showing up as the king of pentacles, Libra. Let me fucking find out. Some of y'all dating somebody new or this is what's about to happen, Libra. I'm hearing for some of you, it's another Libra. And then for others of you, it could be an Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Or this person could have strong Libra or Earth in a chart. Some of y'all going to be dating somebody. Yup, Libra energy. As soon as I said that, justice. I heard Libra. Some of y'all going to be with another Libra or somebody with strong, significant Libra placements or an Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody is feeling you, Libra. There's somebody else coming in that's feeling you. For some of you, maybe this is somebody that you already know that you rekindling things with. This could be somebody that always had a crush on you and they finally acting on it and then for others of you this may be somebody completely new but there's somebody else in the picture here showing up as the king of pentacles and this is somebody that's actually a vibrational match for you okay libra because you also showing up as the queen of pentacles as the empress you represent all the queens in the upright and as the emperor in the reverse this person represents all the kings inverted okay but with the king and the queen of pentacles here this is a vibrational match okay libra and whoever this person is it's like y'all a uh, vibrational match this person sees some sort of equal give and take with you they want to experience some sort of equal give and take with you this person wants to get to know you they want to be a friend it's like this person wants to be your best friend and they want to be your lover child is what i'm hearing but it's fair and just for you to give into this it's fair and just for you to entertain this it's fair and just for you to date whoever the fuck you want like you don't need to be stuck on this emperor in the reverse this person just trying to be a puppet master they just trying to pull the strings they just trying to control the situation control you dominate you dominate how you feel about them like this person just be doing too fucking much okay they be doing too damn much <laughs> okay they really do yeah and that's why you fucking walked away and you set yourself free okay eight of cups here to the nine of pentacles and i feel like now that you've walked away and you stood in your power you took your power back you reclaimed your power you took your fucking energy back from this person as well because i'm hearing that whoever this emperor in the reverse is this is somebody that was an energy drainer now that you took your energy back you took your you stood in your power you took your power back you standing up for yourself you in your empress energy you tapped all the way fucking into your empress energy you showing up as the goddess that you are you you know it's just like you know your worth libra and you acting accordingly with you walking away severing ties and being independent and being strong right it's like this person is depressed ten of cups i mean nine of cups in the reverse and the hermit re in the reverse this is somebody that could be very lonely very sad missing you wanting you near wanting you close want desiring you wanting to be with you nine of cups in the reverse the hermit reverse this is somebody that's lonely this is somebody that's real sad like what happened to all them hoes that you had because i'm telling you whoever this is they keep them bitches lined up okay they, they keep the bitches lined up they be having these bitches wrapped around a block for them okay in a line wrapped around the motherfucking block for them Whoever this emperor in the reverse is, it's like, why are you lonely? Why are you sad? Why are you depressed? What happened to all your hoes, okay? This person said they don't want them. They want to be with you, okay? This person said they want to be with you. They miss you, okay? But this is somebody that's non-committal. It's like, Libra, you got my heart, but you got to understand that I got to fuck them. Like, no, you don't. What's wrong with you? You can't be with just one person, baby. Like, for some of you, this person really can't be with one person, this is somebody that's non-committal, okay? You will not be building a solid foundation with this person. This shit will crumble before it could even get up off the ground, before it could even turn into anything. 
This is somebody, like I said, empty promises, broken promises, a broken home, an unstable foundation, non-committal, third party, four parties, fifth party, six parties, you name it. Okay, motherfucking orgies, if you will. This person is not going to fully commit to you. This is nothing stable coming out of this. And I feel like you know that, which is why you walked the fuck away. But they depressed now. For some of you, it's a Virgo. This person could be a Virgo, a fire sign, or a water sign. Whoever this person, or a Taurus for some of y'all. Whoever this person is, you walked away, Libra. Okay, and like I said, I feel like you guys could be connecting with another Libra or somebody with strong Libra or Earth in HR. Some of you could be connecting with a Gemini as well. But whoever you connecting with, it's going to be equal give and take. Okay, you making this decision to connect with this person. You making the decision to entertain this shit. You like, listen, I deserve this. Okay, I deserve to have some fun. After all this shit that I put up with this emperor in the reverse, it's time for me to, to go out and have fun. I've healed from this emperor in the reverse. And now it's time for me to explore. Okay, like Libra, a lot of y'all could be feeling like this. Like, listen, I done went through what I done went through with this emperor in the reverse. I done healed and now I am ready. Okay, child, I'm in the energy to like give and receive and to be flirty like libra i'm hearing that you back outside okay that's what i'm hearing some of y'all libras y'all back outside libra i'm hearing that you was put up for a minute you outside now okay i was put up for a minute i'm outside now okay i'm hearing um what's his name a uh, big boogie or whatever the hell his name is okay i like him he is scorpio too okay but i'm hearing i was put up for a minute i'm outside now <laughs> okay libra you outside now libra said i'm outside fuck is you talking about this summer is lit is up <laughs> like libra what is going on here this person gonna fuck y'all up <laughs> yo this emperor in reverse gonna fuck y'all up okay if this person see you outside and you got a cup in your hand they gonna slap that shit out your hand okay this person is trying to rain on your parade they trying to ruin whatever vibes you think you creating okay this person gonna fucking tip your hookah over okay bitch if they catch you outside smoking hookah or sipping on your cup you pulling up they gonna knock the cup out your hand throw your hookah over you know what i'm saying knock all your cold off your hookah like this is somebody that just don't want you to have no fun and the fact that you are dedicated to having fun healing um you know entertaining other people going out being around people you outside this person is like seeing red like libra outside like libra dressing up libra going out where libra going where they went who they with what they doing like this person losing their fucking mind they crossing their motherfucking eyes at this point this person seeing fucking stars child <laughs> okay and i feel like that's not your problem you don't care yeah it's like they want to attack you now they sending you the evil eye and it's like bitch i don't care you're not my problem no more you're not my headache anymore i'm no i'm no longer anyone's therapist okay libra i'm hearing that you ain't taking no more patients okay therapy sessions are closed with you for the rest of the year like you not dealing with this person no more they ain't your headache no more they ain't your motherfucking problem okay and i feel like this person is mad okay this person could even be trying to like bribe people to do something okay to you or to steal energy from you or to attack you spiritually man this motherfucker paying for spell work child oh, oh baby <laughs> libra listen this is the book this is the bullshit i'll be talking about somebody here on some demon time some of y'all could be dealing with a capricorn as well i'm getting capricorn leo uh scorpio could be any fire sign any water sign a capricorn taurus virgo shit this could be any fucking body okay because that's that's water earth and fire okay i got everything but air some of y'all was dealing with earth signs water signs or fire signs or maybe this person got earth water and fire highly aspect in each chart. some of y'all is definitely a leo it's definitely a scorpio or a capricorn definitely okay but i'm telling you whoever this person is it's like this person could have lost a lot of money okay they they lost a lot of money fucking with these hoes i'm hearing that song by gucci Mane. these hoes most of these is going broke for these hoes okay like this person done got broke this person done went broke fucking with these hoes okay this person could have been tricking on bitches and shit like that and now they fucked up in the game. They feel like they ain't got their money up. Their money ain't up the way it used to. That's for some of y'all. And then for others of y'all, this person just be wasting their money on dumb shit. Like for some of you, this person got an expensive habit. Maybe they like to pull up. They be spending all their money on drink. Okay, they be spending all their money on some dank. Okay, maybe they got a smoking prop. You know, whatever. This person got some sort of expensive vice and expensive habit for some of y'all. And then for others of you, this person may like to gamble and shit, which is also an expensive habit. Like this person got some sort of expensive habit. 
maybe this motherfucker flashy, they love to shop. Like, it's something here where this person may be living beyond their means. And then for some of you, they was just flat out here getting, they was getting played. Like, this motherfucker think he the player of the year, Mac Daddy of the year. But really, he was getting played by these hoes because he was tricking on them. So for some of y'all, this man was just out here tricking on bitches. And now he mad at the world, including you, Libra, because he ain't got no money. Make it make sense. This man could even be telling y'all, like, Libra, I ain't got no money. You like, what the fuck they got to do with me? Like, this person could be like, come on, Libra. Like, come on, man. You know I got, like, three, four, five kids, Libra. Like, you ain't going to help me? Come on now. Like, I know they ain't your children, but you know my baby mamas is broke, too. Like, Libra, come on now. Look out for me. You like, motherfucker, is you crazy? Like, some of y'all, this person could even be asking you to help them with their children or just, or just help them in general. It's like, what the fuck is this? Like, Libra... No, what the hell? Like, what the what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Okay, Libra, you like absolutely the fuck not. Like, you're bugging. <laughs> okay, so this person is like fucked up in the game. This person could also be getting into some sort of legal trouble as well because of finances. Maybe this person is into some sort of get money quick, rich schemes or whatever. Like, this person have found themselves in like a whole world of trouble when it comes to their finances. This person definitely feeling like they put themselves in a hole financially for whatever reason it may have been. For some of you, is one of the reasons that I said. But anyways, Libra, I just feel like you avoiding this person. Some of y'all avoiding this person because you know that they're going to ask for something. You like, every time this motherfucker hit me up, they asking for something. They need something. Like some of y'all feel like this person only come around because they need something. They ask you for some shit. Okay, let me borrow $20 or come spark a nigga up. Like, come on. you Can you buy me an eighth? Like, no. Like, Libra, where you find this motherfucker at? Like, this somebody asking y'all to buy them weed and shit? Like, wh what the hell is going on, Libra? But anyway, it's... I feel like you ain't paying this person no mind. And because you're not paying them no mind, they trying to start conflict with you. I'm telling you, for a lot of you, this person has been raging war against you. And the reason for that is because you ain't paying them no mind. This person feel like you absolutely ain't got them to think about. They feel like you ain't paying them no mind. They feel like you have completely wrote them off. And you all in this empress high and mighty energy. And you ain't got them to think about. And they don't like that shit. For some of you, this person could even be like um, trying to rage war against you. I told you, this person, for some of y'all, they even paying for spell work. Okay? Don't. I'm telling y'all. That may not resonate with all of y'all, I'm sure. Everybody's story a little different. But I'm telling you, for some of you, this person even went as far as the paying for motherfuckers to spiritually attack y'all. They could be doing it themselves. Shit, maybe this motherfucker into that. I don't know, Libra. It's different for all y'all. But I'm telling you, whoever you are, you patient. You grounded. You've mastered yourself. You calm. You balanced. You got harmony and peace and stability in your life, Libra. You have balanced out your scales. You feel me? Like, you chilling. And I feel like this is making this person even more angry. They like... I could just fucking snap you in half, Libra. Like, this person is mad. That's why I said, this person catch you outside, Libra. I'm telling you, they gonna, they gonna ruin your shit. They gonna pop your balloons. They gonna buzz your pinata. They gonna knock over your hookah. They gonna knock your drink out your hand. This is somebody here that don't want you to have no fun if it ain't with them, okay? Like, you need to be in the house, alone, cooped up, lonely, miserable, isolated, no friends, no, definitely no man. Like, you know, like, this person don't want you to have shit in your life child please okay libra what the hell is going on <laughs> libra who this who this emperor in reverse tell tell him to stop tell this tell this man he need jesus okay this man need jesus and his life child this man don't know this man don't know god no he don't not acting like this he don't know the lord this is somebody here that need jesus he need he need he need a hug libra he really say he need you though that's what he said he said i need you he said, what would Jesus do, Libra? Jesus would tell you to forgive me and to let me come home. Let me be with you. <laughs> okay, this person really miss you, Libra. I'm hearing that this person miss you, Libra. Mm -mm. This person miss you, Libra. They said, Libra, please. They said, baby, please. <laughs> like, this person is like, beg like no funny shit. Their energy is like begging. But I feel like this is somebody that's very prideful. Like they got a lot of pride and shit. And, you know, this person could be, like, very macho, too. Like, macho man type of energy. So, they're very prideful. So, I don't know. For some of you, they may not be coming at you in that begging energy. But, baby, that energy that I'm reading, their energy don't lie. You know what I'm saying? Even if they fronting, the energy that they carry is Libra, please. Okay? I'm begging you. <laughs> like, something about this person energy begging. Like, this person needs you. Okay, they need you. 
They saying they need you, Libra. Okay, they need you. This person said they like a fiend for you, Libra. Come on, baby. I'm like a fiend for you, darling. <laughs> like, come on, darling. Okay, I keep hearing darling. Somebody here may really call somebody darling. Because I've be, I've been chilling that shit for like weeks now. Darling, darling. And I kept hearing, don't worry, darling. And then I was thinking about the movie, don't worry, darling. And then now today I'm chilling, darling, again. And then this card says, don't worry, darling. And then I'm just hearing darling again. Like somebody here may like give you like little pet names, sweet names, baby names. But I'm hearing for some of y'all, this person definitely say darling or they call you darling or sweetheart. Okay, all fuck niggas call people sweetheart. All of them. I don't know what what went out into the universe, into the mother earth, planet earth. But I promise you, all the fuck boys call women sweetheart. All of them. They be like, come on, sweetheart. Why you gotta be like that, sweetheart? Don't do me like that, sweetheart. Oh, can I get a hug, sweetheart? Like, they all say sweetheart. All of them. Promise you. <laughs> so somebody here may say sweetheart or darling or some shit like that. This person feel like in the distant future, y'all going to be in a relationship. Or they feel like in the distant future, you going to have real love. Wow. See, Libra? That's why they really mad. This person feels like you are very distant right now. And they feel like in the distant future, you're going to be in a relationship and you're going to have real love. Or this is already what's happening. And this person is fucking fuming. This motherfucker got smoke coming out his ears. I'm telling you, this is somebody here that whose nostrils is flared the fuck up. And he got smoke coming out his ears. And he foaming at the mouth like a fucking dog. Because he feel like in the near future... You gonna be in a real relationship, a real commitment with somebody that got eyes for only you, okay? And it's like, even if they look, they ain't gonna touch, you feel me? This is gonna be somebody that's gonna be committed to you and only you. This person know you gonna be in a real relationship and they like, nah, Libra, I can't have that. I can't have that, Libra. I know I ain't trying to change and I know I ain't trying to be a one woman man, but I can't have you out here loving somebody and being with somebody. I can't have you out here getting married to somebody, Libra. I'ma fuck him up. I'm going to fuck both of y'all up. <laughs> like, this is how this person really feel, Libra. And you like, peace out, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. Unbothered. <laughs> like, Libra, you unbothered, bitch. <laughs> Libra, you unbothered. Some of y'all could be, um, some of y'all got some nice ass titties. Okay, Libra, some of you, you know, no shade, baby. You know, well, that's not shade, but, you know, I don't mean to be ignorant. Libra, I know you don't take offense to that shit. You probably laughing like, yeah, bitch, my shit's be sitting. Okay, like, Libra, some of y'all, your shit's be sitting, bitch. You got some nice that ass. Okay, you some of y'all, you know, you be having a little cleave out. You be letting cleave and the twins come out and play sometimes. Some of y'all got nice titties, okay? You got nice boobies, Libra. Some of y'all may love to wear, like, uh, crystal bracelets and shit like that, too. But some of y'all got some nice titties, okay? But you unbothered, Libra. You unbothered, child. You like, nigga, please, okay? Like, you unbothered. This person, like, yo, if I catch you outside... And you with your new nigga, that's going to be your ass, Libra. You and him. Y'all going to both get fucked up. <laughs> like, this person is mad, yo. I feel their energy. Something significant about them eights. I told you, 18, 81, 888, Libra. Some of y'all could be born in 81. Some Somebody here definitely born October 18th or October 8th. Some of you definitely seeing 888, 818. Some of y'all could also be 36 years old, okay? Or you could be around that age, 36. But I'm telling you, like, you unbothered, baby. This person, like, oh, yeah, you unbothered? Okay, I got something for you. Like, this person, like, what they, they trying to threaten you, Libra? Okay? Oh, child, I don't know, Libra. I don't know what's going on with this person. This person's energy is crazy. Yeah, this person, I don't know. For some of y'all, shit. Look at this, divine masculine in the reverse. This person could have even been trying to attach some sort of entity to you or give you something that was cursed, a gift. Um, Libra, listen up here, baby. If this person tries to reconnect with y'all or reconcile with you and they try to give you some sort of gift, some sort of tangible item, don't take it. I'm hearing that the gift is cursed, okay? This person gonna try to gift you something, the gift is cursed. This person also tr could be trying to attach some sort of entity to you or they themselves have an entity attachment, okay? This is why they can't stay away from, you know, harmful substances or they can't stay away from, they can't stop doing the wrong thing. They can't, you know, get out of their toxic ways and behaviors. They can't, they can't stop having a toxic lifestyle for some of y'all. This is because they could have some sort of entity attachment. This person could also want you to be in this energy as well, okay? 
so that you can accept them for how they come in. But this is somebody that's a karmic masculine. We got divine masculine in the reverse. But you knew that, Libra. This person had already showed up as the emperor in the reverse. But I'm telling you, baby, if this person try to come back around and give you a gift, don't take that shit. You better not take that shit. Don't you damn, but you better definitely not put that shit in your house, okay? Because this is somebody that's been trying to send you the evil eye, Libra, and it has not been working. But like I said, this person may try to come around and give you some sort of tangible item. Do not take that shit, Libra. Don't take it, baby. Whoever this is, they could have been gossiping about you too, okay? <laughs> like, this person is going to extreme lengths here because they mad. They mad, Libra. This person is mad. And then the fact that you ain't paying them no mind. For some of y'all, this person could be hitting you up, calling you, texting you, whatever. And maybe y'all not responding. This shit is getting this person even more fucking mad that you're not responding. Some of y'all getting married. Libra, look at this shit. You got real love, relationship, and commitment. Some of y'all are going to be getting married to somebody. It definitely ain't them. It's going to be that king of pentacles. It's going to be a real emperor. I'm telling you. Marriage real love and relationship all came out some of y'all are going to get real love and get into a real relationship that's going to lead to a higher level of commitment that's going to lead to marriage okay there's a karmic femme that's also connected to this person that was trying to do some sort of ritual on you okay that shit is not working would it be in the reverse it's not working none of it is working Okay, none of it's working. Somebody here could even went as far as to traveling to do spell work on y'all. Okay, for some of y'all, this person going to jail. Not they going to jail. I told you for some of y'all, this motherfucker got some legal issues now. And this could have to, this, some of they, for some of you, Libra, maybe they legal issues got something to do with you. And then for others of you, Libra, this person done got themselves into some sort of trouble that may have absolutely nothing to do with you. Because like I said, I had picked up on it that some of y'all, this person getting into trouble when it comes to some sort of money. Okay, maybe this person is into like scamming and some sort of quick, some sort of get rich quick schemes or something. But I'm telling you, this Ice King in a reverse, it I don't know. Whoop, whoop. God damn, that's a squad call. Whoop. Like, I'm telling you, them boys coming to pick somebody up. Ice King in a reverse. That's the King of Swords in reverse. This person could be getting in trouble, Libra. Mm hmm They could be getting in trouble. I'm telling you. This person could be getting in trouble. What I said, Libra, legal. This person got legal issues. Or this person could have been going to extreme lengths to cause legal issues for you to get you incarcerated. It didn't work. It didn't work, Libra. Whoever you are, you're in your north node. You and your North Node. That shit ain't working. That shit is not working. They like, wow, really? <laughs> like, this person is mad because this is an ending. This shit is, this This is a huge ending for you, Libra. You are done. You are really done. Again, with those nines. All we kept seeing was nines in the very beginning of this message when I was giving you your angels' messages, your oracle messages, your affirmations. Nine. Okay, and this literally is 91. <laughs> Some of y'all definitely could have been born in 91. Some of y'all born October 9th, October 19th. But I'm telling you, Libra, road closed, endings is over. This person's being blocked. They being removed from your life, Libra. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, R.I.P. Emotional pain. This person is so damn dramatic. Emotional pain and R.I.P. just came out. This person is so dramatic. For some of y'all, this person is saying... That they are in some emotional pain because you acting like this. Like, it don't even make sense for them to continue to live. Yo, Libra, yo, I'm too tapped in. Yo, shout outs to Intuitive Kev for this popping ass deck. I love this deck. Y'all gonna see this deck a lot. I love this deck. Shout outs to Intuitive Kev. Libra, you should go out and get Intuitive Kev's deck. But didn't I tell you, I said this person's so mad that they got veins popping out their head, smoke coming out their ears, and they foaming at the mouth like a fucking dog. What this man got? Smoke coming out his ears. <laughs> Yo, Kev, we tapped in. I love this deck. But yes, conflict, okay? This person got a lot of conflict surrounding them. They was trying to bring you conflict. Now this motherfucker got smoke coming out his ears because he mad. Libra, he mad because he can't get his way. The Emperor in the Reverse is very narcissistic, Okay. Some of y'all, this you could be saying this person a full-blown narc. And then for others of you, they just got narcissistic traits, tendencies, okay? And whoever you are, you at peace, Libra. You going through beautiful awakenings, dark nights of the soul. You going through transformations, Libra. You showing up as someone that's manifesting during this time. This person mad as hell. 
For some of y'all, this person is so dramatic. They could be saying that they got all this emotional pain that they don't want to be here. For some of you, this person could even be hitting you up like, Libra, you're going to be the reason I ain't here no more. You know, I'm going to kill myself. You're going to be the reason I ain't here no more. And trigger warning, you know, I hope that I'm not triggering anybody by saying that. But you got fools out here that have no intention on harming themselves, but they will say that shit just to get you to talk to them and, you know, all that shit like that. I'll tell a motherfucker quick, like... Okay, I'm going to call the I'm a quarter hotline. I'm going to call the hotline for you. I'm going to call the authorities for you. And I'm just going to send them to your house. Like, it's not going to work where I'm going to be with you or I'm going to come towards you or, you know, no, I'm not going to console you. I'm going to go, I'm going to send for help. I'm going to send, I'm going to send you help. <laughs> like, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work the way you think it's going to work. I'm going to send you some help. You feel me? Like, this person could be lying and saying that they don't want to be here no more. They're going to do something to themselves because they in too much emotional pain. Libra, I'm not buying it. For some, for some of you, I'm just really not buying it. This person is blowing smoke up your damn ass like that smoke coming out their damn ears. And then for others of you, I'm getting here that for some of you, that somebody in a family could have passed away. Okay. Like, so this person could be going through some sort of emotional pain because maybe they lost a loved one. And that's sad, you know. If whoever that resonates for, definitely sending my condolences. It's never easy losing a loved one, okay. But this is somebody that feels like they in some sort of bondage because they was doing too much. This person was trying to bind you. I'm telling you, for some of you, this motherfucker's out here paying for spell work. That could be another reason why their finances is fucked up because they were spending mad bread on spell work on y'all. I'm telling you, Libra, for some of you, this person went as far as to trying to spiritually attack y'all. And that shit done backfired. Maybe that's because that maybe that's the reason why somebody passed too. Shit. Listen, get into it, Libra. Y'all know what the hell going on. Everybody's situation a little different. Some of you could be 32. Okay. Somebody here definitely could have been born in 89, 91, 95. We got 19 here, again with those nines, okay? Some of y'all could be born October 10th, October 5th, October 15th, October 4th, October 3rd, October 13th, October 15th. Some of you born, some of you could be 50 years old, okay? Somebody here could be 30 years old, okay? Somebody here could be 49, 43, 44, all right, Libra? Somebody here could have been born in 86. This person could have been born in 86, okay? This person could have also been born in 70 or 68 for some of y'all. All right. But this is the message, Libra. All right. I hope that this helped, Libra. Yep. You did the right thing by staying away from this person. Walking away was the best thing you could have did, child. Because you about to find real love if you haven't already. And I feel like for a lot of you, you ain't even looking. And that's the best time to find you. That's the best time to get it. Because you ain't supposed to be looking. You supposed to just be attracting. You ain't supposed to be chasing shit. You ain't supposed to be chasing nothing. You are all... You know, when you in this empress energy, when you vibrating high, when you in your north node, it's all about alignment. It's all about attracting, okay? Law of attraction, Libra. You know what I'm talking about. So y'all not out here, you know, fiending. Y'all not out here chasing nothing. You are in full alignment and you attracting your heart's desires, period. And this goes for romantic love and everything else. Any and everything else that you may want, you are in perfect alignment to just naturally attract it. And that's a beautiful thing, Libra. All right, baby. I hope that this message helped. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Peace.